Hi everybody. In this video, I'm going to be showing you some more things that are going to be listed in my shop. And they're very different from each other. One is vintage buttons and the other is paper dolls. So let's start with the buttons. That'll be quicker. So I've had a lot of vintage buttons that I've gotten from flea markets in tins, meaning to do something with them. So I decided to just put them in um, baggies and the baggies weigh at least 10 ounces. Each bag is at least 10 ounces. And so I just have, I don't know, about eight bags of assorted vintage buttons. Some of them are on cards. I think every bag has at least one card with buttons. Um, so it's just a really fun mix of old buttons that you can use. You get the point. Vintage buttons in my shop. All right. Now, in a recent video, I said that I need. I am getting rid of a lot of stuff because I'm going to be seriously de um, downsizing. I'm hoping to move by the end of the year. And one of the things that I've decided I can live without are my paper dolls. I have. I've been collecting paper dolls for many, many years. And I just, I won't have place to, places to store them. I don't do anything with them. I used to look at them sometimes. But because I love fashion, you wouldn't know it by looking at me, but <laughs> I'm fascinated by fashion. When I was in high school, I did my, uh, I forgot what it's called, but it was your longer, it's not a thesis, but it's a longer essay type of thing. I did it on 19th century fashion. So anyway, that's one of the reasons I love paper dolls. So anyway, I've been collecting paper dolls, and now I'm going to let you have some of them. Uh, I have them in sets of two or three packs for the most part. So these two are by Peck. This is Peck Aubrey, and this is Peck Gondre. I think I got this one first, and I believe I bought it when I was on vacation somewhere a long time ago. So this one is Sleeping Beauty. It has the three fairies here and the evil stepmother. Uh, yeah, I guess she's the stepmother. No, the evil fairy. And there's Sleeping Beauty, and she is 12 inches tall. All of the clothing... Well, maybe not all of it. Some of the clothing you are to color. And this was before the coloring craze. And then some of them are colored for you. I'm not going to go into every single page of all of these um, paper dolls, but these are something different that you don't normally see, so I thought I would take it all out and let you see exactly what's in here. I think the white page is in the window so that you can see the beautiful Sleeping Beauty. And then we have Robin Hood and Maid Marian. So you get two paper dolls with this one. They are stuck in there so I won't take them out. They kind of look like um, Kevin Costner and Mary Elizabeth Master Antonio. I love that version of the of Robin Hood. And then the clothing, how gorgeous. Look at that wedding dress. Again, some to color. white page. Oh, there's Friar Tuck and Little John on the back, too. Okay, so that's one set. The rest of them, I think, are in books. Um, 
This is going to be a set of two, Marilyn Monroe by Tom Tierney. And this was 1979. I didn't buy this in 79. I wasn't collecting them at that time. But And these are matte, not glossy. Most of them are glossy. Um, so I think I picked this up at a yard sale or something. Or maybe it was in my mother's collection. Anyway, you get how many dolls? One doll and 31 costumes. So there's a lot there. And then this one is Grace Kelly. Looks like you get at least three dolls here. These are a little glossier. But it talks about what movie or what event the dresses were worn in. And there's information on them. So, Grace Kelly, Marilyn Monroe. Alright, this one is cut up some. And it's Shirley Temple. Original Shirley Temple paper dolls in full color from the collection of the Children's Museum. It says original, but these are copies of the original. This was uh, 1988, but they're photos of her. Aren't they adorable? Love Shirley Temple. So this one is not cut. This is one I was keeping for myself. They're all, there's four different dolls. So sweet. This one I did cut. This one had uh, a couple sizes of paper dolls, and they're, I don't know, maybe they're not photographs. This one is back to back, and then her clothing is front and back also, so that's really fun. And then there's this giant doll, you would have to put her together, and she has giant clothing. Isn't that fun? So as far as I know, all the pieces are here, but I can't guarantee that. Then we have a set of three, Princess Diana and Prince Charles. Again, this is Tom Tierney. A lot of my paper dolls are Tom Tierney from the Dover books. <sighs> Again, one of those people I don't talk to, you know, the telemarketers. Diana, Princess of Wales. I love I have a huge pile of books about Princess Diana, which I am also going to do away with. I don't know what to do with them. I'm going to keep a few of my favorites, but I'm not sure what to do with the rest of them. And Kate, the Duchess of Cam Cambridge, includes Prince William and Prince George. Look at that pretty picture of her. The doll itself has those uh, LK Bennett platform shoes, the nude color that I love, and she's famous for them. And then some of the outfits will have her wearing a different pair of shoes or boots, but she does have those shoes. Look at her beautiful clothing. And there's William. So that's a set of three. This is a fun set. Tom Tierney, and this is actually not a paper doll book. But this one is Tom Tierney, Great Empresses and Queens Paper Dolls. I was a bit surprised at the Cleopatra dolls because she's topless. Marie Antoinette <laughs> in Good Days and Bad. Josephine Bonaparte, Queen Victoria, and more. There's even the Hawaiian Queen. And there's Queen Elizabeth II and Princess Grace. And along with that one is a coloring book from the Smithsonian 
first lady's gowns. So I believe it's, I colored a couple pages, or somebody did. I don't think that's my coloring. Um, but it's their inauguration gowns, I believe. Yeah, I definitely didn't color that. I must have let my grandkids color in this. Because I think I bought this in a museum or something. It goes to Nancy Reagan. This one is Tom Tierney, two of them. Great fashion designs of the Belle Epoch, which I love. Look at that. I just love these fashions. This one comes with two dolls. There's one of them. Just flip into the blank pages. And there's the other one. With these gowns. I believe I believe this is the era of Worth, yeah. Worth, Paquin, Lanvin, probably in French, and others. So really beautiful. Beautiful. I hate to give that up. Then we have, oh, this goes with it. This was a pack of three. Southern Bells paper dolls. This one has 10 dolls. Two with five additional costumes. So there's only two dolls that have costumes. So it includes the children and two gentlemen and this one who probably doesn't have costumes. Another couple of gentlemen. This set, um, this is Chanel by Tom Tierney. And it has three paper dolls. That's Coco Chanel herself. Okay. The first documented Chanel design, including the hat, 1906. And then this set I got at a, I think I picked this up at a flea market, but it's not old. It's 2015, but it's reproduction of old. And it's matte and paper instead of card stock. This would be really fun to cut up and use in junk journals. They look like um, pinup girls almost. Where's the doll? There they are. Got five dolls. And they're petite, so they're a good size to put in junk journals. This is a set of two. This is not Tom Tierney, but it's Victorian fashion paper dolls from Harper's Bazaar from 1867 to 1898. So it's Victor I like Victorian era. Theodore Menton. Oh, these are so pretty. I'm going to miss these. Love her. And this one is Tom Tierney. Great fashion designs of the Victorian era. Two dolls and 28 costumes. Those are the dolls. The young Queen Victoria of England. And the stylish Empress Eugenie of France.
Now when, when his books are entitled Great Fashion Designs, they are by designers. So they are listed here of who the designer is. I mean, all dresses are made by a designer, but these are specifically talking about some of the designers. Oh, look at that one. This is a Worth dress. Talk about over the top. Peacock on her head, peacock train, and an, even an uh, angel. Strange. Then we have some ballet books. Both by Tom Tierney. Ballet Stars of the Romantic Era. This one is Marie Taglioni. This one is Fanny Elsler. And Fanny Cerrito. Look at that. I'm assuming that was a gypsy costume, La Esmeralda. And Carlotta Grisi. Oh, there's more. Lucille Gran. Jules Perrault. And Augusta Maywood. Lola Montez. And then we have Pavlova and Najinsky paper dolls. Anna Pavlova. There she is in Swan Lake. So it talk it names the I don't know, I guess it's the name of the uh, ballet, because that one says Don Quixote, the dragonfly. <laughs> so cute. And then we have Vaslav Nijinsky. Look at that one. Harrisad, Carnival. Well, that's a bit feminine looking. <laughs> the Spectre of the Rose. But what athleticism this art takes. Okay, maybe I lingered too long on those. Ballet. Now we have some children. Old Fashioned, old -fashioned Children by Evelyn Gathings. So those are the children, Gerard and Emily, and their costumes. Very fancy, and all their little accessories, toy soldiers, look at all those fun things for these wealthy children to play with. A violin recital, look at the little animals they see when they go on their picnic in the woods. They get to go to the farm. These are wonderful illustrations. <laughs> Look at that costume. It is a whole scene. And so is this. Well, you can cut, I guess that you cut these apart, but they're displayed on ice. What fun. And then Raphael Tap. Tuck antique paper dolls in full color from the collection of the Children's Museum in Boston, Massachusetts. So these are the ones that have the bodies with the necks and then you attach the heads. And where's the heads? There they are. And I think you would be able to put some pieces of the costume up underneath the head if you don't attach it down all the way. Doll 1 and Doll 2. There might be more. Yep. Doll 3 is a boy and Doll 4 is a boy. Doll 
I don't know, it just says Sweet Abigail. And Darling Hilda. So you get quite a few dolls in there. This is a fun one. This is actually a set of three, but one of them is partially cut, but they're the same. Victorian Mouse Paper Dolls in Full Color by Crystal Collins Sterling. And I cut this one up and used it in paper doll books, the journals that I made. It's got such, such gorgeous, gorgeous illustrations. All of their fun accessories. But I left in here the parts that I didn't use. So these could be fun to just cut up and um, add to journals. I think all of the dolls are gone because I used them in journals, but I left a lot of clothes and accessories. And then we have Peter Rabbit Paper Dolls by Kathy Allert. So there's Peter. So I guess we get to see many adventures that Peter had that weren't in the books. I mean, for example, did you know he went um, snorkeling? Or he's an astronaut? Look at the helmet for his ears. <laughs> and he's a knight and a super bunny. This is cute. Excuse the yawn. And he rides a motorcycle. So that is two and a half books. Uh, Victorian cat family. These are all animals. This is uh, Evelyn Gathings again. This was my mother's. She bought it in 1992. This is copyrighted 1984. So these are really fun costumes and accessories. And Dress Your Bear, Seven Bears to Cut Out and Dress by John Richardson. It's Hamish Hawkins III. Must be uh, Scottish with a name like that and those plaid pants. Ruby. She's German, it says right there. Napoleon. English. I would have thought France with a name like that. Chester, American made bears. Chester and Eloise, they're cute. Maud, Germany. Constable, English. So I guess these are copies of antique bears because it says he's a handmade bear, probably English. And then Evelyn Gathings again, Victorian Pets. There's a mouse, a cat, a puppy, French Poodle, Dexter Duckling. I would love to see these little animals in their clothing. Jonathan Rabbit. These are so cute. Lois Jean Lamb. Lion Cub James and Billy Bear. I think this goes with the mouse. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so we already looked at all those. Then we have something different. Madeline, Madeline Paper Dolls, the French girl that's famous for her books. Look at that. It's so precious. And it comes with a wardrobe that you can cut out and put together. Punch out. I think these are perforated. Yep. The clothing are cut out. And they look just like the drawings in the books. So this is just a really fun set. And Snow White from Golden Books. Here's some pages to color. Clothing to punch out. These are perforated. And it's all intact. It hasn't been cut apart. 
and there's some pages to color in the center I believe there's the dolls if it's still there nope I guess the little carrying case isn't there oh maybe this is the carrying envelope yeah this and this together so it tells you to take the staples out of the center of the book so that you can remove this intact and then fold this up to create the um, storage envelope then we have fashion paper dolls from Godey's ladies book 1840 to 1854 Susan Johnston love her she's Nettie Daisy, Clara, Alice, Emma, beautiful, beautiful costumes, Flora, and Pauline. Do you know, it hurts my heart to have to, to get rid of these, but I have to. Um... Godey's Ladies Book was probably the most influential women's magazine of its era. They offered needlework projects, recipes, hints on household care, and women's romances. It also featured hand-tinted hand fold-outs showing the latest fashions. So, that's really fun. Erte, fashion paper dolls of the 20s. How fun is that? There's Lisson. Marion. They're very slouchy. Nino. Odette. Very French names here. Paulette. I guess Erte was French. Sounds like a French name. Margot. Claudette. He was a theatrical and fashion designer. And American Family of the 1930s. This is Tom Tierney. So you get the entire family, Walter and Joanne, and their grown children. And their grandchildren. And costumes for all of them. And more Letty Lane paper dolls. by Sheila Young. This is 1981, but my mother got it in 92, must be. Letty Lane's Around the World Party, so there's figures from different countries and their costumes. That's really fun. And some dolls and their clothes. Then I have some miscellaneous pieces that I'm that I'm bundling together. This is from a magazine. McCall's magazine with some celebrities and some dresses. I think these were done by Tom Tierney. Here's Nicole Kidman, Gwyneth Paltrow, and Catherine Zeta-Jones. I don't see the clothes for her. These are from um, doll magazines, doll collector magazines. Um, I used to get them probably in the 80s. Yeah, 88, but mostly because I wanted the paper dolls. So there's this funny fellow. This is from McCall's also, Betsy McCall. This is 1995, so not one of the vintage ones. There's Mickey and Minnie and their costumes. I think that's from a doll collector magazine. There's a monkey and some costumes. Estelle from Doll World, January 87. This is from Godie's ladies book. These go with her. Brownie paper dolls. So he goes with this is from Doll World 88. 
This goes with the monkey. Billy the Bear. Billy's best pal is Smokey the Bear. Our hero and the girl back home, Susan Hoffman. I would love it when I would see Susan Hoffman paper dolls in these doll collector books because I just thought her art was so charming. Happy Fourth. This is super uh, Susan Hoffman also. And another Susan Hoffman. Woodland Berry, not Fairy. Isn't that sweet? Teddy Baby in the 50s. Baby Easter Bunny. Susan Hoffman. And we have some uh, Mary Engelbright. I'm sure these came out of her magazine. When she first came out with her magazine, she included paper dolls. And then they, on the pages like this, and then they were smaller, like a smaller piece of cardstock that was in bound into the book. But I used to like to collect the Mary Engelbright paper dolls. Eva. And this is just an article about paper dolls. Pretty in paper. I think this is from a Mary Engelbright magazine, actually. These are Mary Engelbright dolls. Some of them were cut and used in my paper doll journals. This is how they were cardstock. That's a full size page, but then they ended up being smaller pages, I think. So these are really fun. Anna Stell. Georgia. There's a Halloween one. Then I included this Raphael Tuck Bell's paper doll. So it's like the children that I showed earlier. This one has been cut, but it has a doll, several dolls and clothing. And this one has been cut also. More Dolly Dingle paper dolls. But there's a lot in there still. So this set has a lot of stuff miscellaneous stuff. This is a really fun bundle here. Then we have Betty Bonnet paper dolls in full colors. There's two. My mother had given me hers too. So this is a complete one with her family, her friends, her cousins, her married sister, and her niece. And then this one was cut. But, see, some of the pages are gone, but a lot of them are still there. So that one comes together. This set, there's a lot here, too. And this one's going to be heavier because it's got some heavy books. Um, Hollywood movie paper dolls. I don't know if I have the dolls that go with that. This is just some antique paper dolls. It has her and her costumes. This one has some that I cut out. I think these are just clothes. Great fashion designs of the 40s. So. This has movie, no, actually, that is not what's in here. This is this one. So it's got the dolls and the pages about the dolls, the actresses. Sorry. So a lot of it is cut, so you don't have to do that. And then these two are the same Fashion Parade paper dolls. I didn't realize they were the same book because the covers are different. But it's great designs, four decades of great designs from 1960 to 2000, so they're the same. Some of them are cut. A lot of the dolls are still there. Oh, this goes in something else. 
So this is a really fun book. And then this is the same thing. And again, some of it is cut, but not much of it. Okay, one more to show you, and that's something very different also. Betsy Ross and her friends, a child guidance educational activity. So it does have the chipboard dolls. Betsy and Tom and Dolly and John. And costumes to go with them. I bought this at a flea market or an antique store or something. And I'm going to let it go. So all of these paper dolls will be listed in my shop. It's going to take me a long time to get them there, but by the time you see this video, they will be there. Thank you so much for your patience in watching this very long video. Come on over to my shop and see what else is there. Bye-bye.